Sub subs, so let's put this to rest. Oculus Link won't require an expensive computer. The one you have now may work just fine. Not sure if yours is up to speed? Well, that's what we're here to find out. We'll make this simple as possible, so just follow along and you'll do just fine. If you've got a low-end PC and you've already tried VR on it, let us know your experience in the comments to help your fellow subs out. So in the description, you'll find a link to Oculus' official minimum and recommended specs list, which I've got pulled up here. Now I realize that tech specs aren't the most fascinating subject for a video, so we'll try to make this as easy to follow as possible. Let's just focus here on the bare minimum specs first. So your processor needs to be at least an Intel i3-6100, which pretty much any computer after 2016 should be equipped with. You need an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti graphics card, which may be a little more rare if you have an older computer, but still pretty standard on most desktops and laptops. 8 gigs of RAM, and as long as you have a computer worth more than four or $500, it should have 8 gigs of RAM no problem. Windows 10, which obviously every computer nowadays has Windows 10, and the rest doesn't really apply. I will say instead of a display port, you'll need to have a USB-C port to plug the cable in, which is more of a modern computer thing, but as long as you have a USB 3.0 port and an adapter, which is super cheap and easy to find on Amazon, you'll be just fine. If you're looking for something decent that runs VR just fine, kinda middle of the road specs, I used to use my Acer Nitro 5 laptop for VR before getting my desktop, and it worked great, and it also has a USB-C port. It was what, like 600 refurbished from Best Buy, I think? I'll put a link in the description if that's something you're interested in. If you're not really sure what your computer specs are, just go to My Computer, right-click anywhere and click Properties, and it will tell you the processor you have as well as your RAM. To find out what graphics card you have, just open up your search and search DXDIAG and open that bad boy up. Click on the Display tab up here and you'll find your graphics card information. If you're still not sure if your computer is capable of running VR properly, you're in luck. The good folks over at Steam have hooked us up with a handy dandy tool to do it all for you. So just open up Steam and search for Steam VR Performance Test and download that, and then pull this bad boy up. You probably want to run this test with everything else on your computer closed, including applications that may be running in the background in your tray, so it can get a good idea of how powerful your computer is without any extra baggage running. It'll go through this test simulation of using a VR headset, so just let it do its thing without touching anything. Just sit there and silently watch as the animation goes for a couple minutes, and then it'll tell you exactly how capable your computer is for running VR. As you can see, it tells you on a slider if it's not ready, capable, or ready. And it gives you the most relevant computer specs, and a detailed description of the results. This is a super handy tool for anyone unsure of their computer's capabilities. I highly recommend using this, even if you've got good specs, because it's helpful to see just how capable your PC is. This here is my specs on my expensive desktop that I bought specifically for high-end VR, but let's look at the performance capabilities of that Acer Nitro 5 laptop that we were talking about that I still use from time to time, and see how it stacks up. So not incredible, but that's to be expected. But like I said, this laptop runs VR just fine. And if you're coming from a Quest, it's more than enough power to run the biggest titles and still see a decent upgrade. So if your specs are anything similar to this, I think you'll be fine. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. If you found it helpful at all, make sure to leave a like for future viewers. And as always, thanks for watching, love ya, and we'll catch up next time.